<clears throat> we interrupt this live recorded broadcasting to bring you breaking news on what happened in the 70s. We are here in the year 2010 to talk about current events in the 1970s. Yesterday, Earth Day happened. A lot of environmentalists were happy. Third, second, the power crisis is driving us crazy. Third, the Vietnam War is also driving us crazy. And the Watergate scandal is driving us all crazy. A lot of stuff going on. So, before we get into the details, let's go to a commercial. Um, you can stop now. Take a break, take a break, take a break. All right, we'll be back, folks. <sighs> And action. Welcome everybody, back from the commercial. Um, breaking news, April 22nd, uh, 1970, Earth Day was a huge success. Environmentalism is the key word today. Yep. With that being said, we are going through the 1973 international oil embargo. There's been religious and political conflict in the Middle East. The U.S. sided with Israelis, and the Arabs don't want to give us any more oil. No more oil. So what does that happen to the oil prices? It makes them rise 130%. Crazy. Talk about crazy. And the lines uh, at the gas stations are huge. 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 So, uh, people are uh, now researching and developing uh, with a little bit of help from the government. The um, Federal Energy Office was created, and now people use more less energy. Right. We're trying to be more fuel efficient. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, energy, wind, solar, alternative sources of energy are being pioneered as we speak. We gotta ask ourselves, what is the priority? Our natural environment or money? Ready and action. Hello everybody. Welcome back from the commercial. Anyway, we're talking about uh, the Vietnam War. Yep, yeah. the Vietnam War started in 1955 and ended in 1975. Right. Everybody was tired of it. Nobody wanted it anymore. People were rioting and like a few students were killed in a university. Right. So, uh, South Vietnam lost, right? Yeah, South Vietnam lost and uh, North Vietnam won. North Vietnam was communist. America withdrew from the war. That's why Vietnam lost. I see. Now, we have a live recorded interview with a Vietnam veteran. And we'll show it to you right now. Roll it. Hello, everybody. We're here with four veteran John. Hello, hello. So, John, what war were you from? Well, I went to the war in Vietnam. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, John. How did you feel while you were at Vietnam? Well, it was terrible. Well, there was the fighting, of course, but we weren't used to jungle warfare, and people's legs were rotting off because of the rain. Uh, all these terrible things happening, booby traps everywhere. Yeah, it was John. hard, it was hard. So how did you feel when you came back from the war? Well, to tell you the truth, I felt betrayed by my country. We, my friends and I, we fought, we died for our country. But when we came back, nobody liked mm, us. How sad, how sad. Yeah, we thought people would be, we'd be war heroes because we worked hard. We worked really hard. My friends died, I lost an eye. I got it back, but it was, oh, what can I say? And action! Welcome to the seven days. Hello everybody and welcome back from the commercial. Right. Now we're gonna talk a little bit about what's going on with the government. The Watergate scandal! Right, Nixon is a crook. Yeah, he is. He says he's not. But he is. Anyway, we actually have live footage captured from an uninvented hotel camera that yes. wasn't there at the time. But it's we there. have it! Yeah, yeah, we have it! Yeah, we're the best! <laughs> yeah, best news reporters ever! The Watergate scandal was when five burglars, former CIA and FBI agents, broke into the Democratic National Committee. They were taking photographs of very secret information. And they were all arrested in the end. 
After several investigations by the FBI and CIA, they all had connections to President Nixon. The media covered the whole scandal so much that the Senate was opposed to Nixon, enough to make him want to resign, and he did on August 9th, 1974. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So, Mr. President, what's this press conference for? I don't know nothing about nothing. What do you mean you know nothing about nothing? I don't nothing? know nothing about nothing. So what are you here to tell us? Well, I'm no crook. You're no crook? What, no, what but I resign. Do? I resign. <laughs> I resign, everybody. But I'm no crook. I'm no crook. You hear that? No crook! Alright, all this scandal and stuff is getting me real bored. Now it's time for some movies and science! <laughs> Come with me, and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. Take a look, and you'll see. Welcome, everybody. This is a transmission from the 2010 uh, space station currently in orbit around the Earth. Mm -hmm. um, well, we're here to talk a little bit about the space program in the 1970s. Yep, the 1970s space station! Right, there were a lot of developments uh, going on. In fact, this space station was proposed in 1969, uh, but because of the Vietnam War, nothing happened. Why did nothing happen? Well, uh, funding. Everybody was running out of money. Oh! Right, so uh, what happened was uh, everything was put on hold, and instead the cheaper missions, the Apollo missions, were the ones that uh, got to fly. Oh! Right. And uh, and so we're, um, we're, one of the most famous missions is Apollo 13. Apollo 13 was the one where uh, the, 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 what was it? The oxygen tanks or something like yeah, that. Yeah, they blew up or something. Right, and uh, the astronauts never made it onto the moon. Right, um, and and so they had to just circle around and come right back to Earth. <laughs> look, look, check this out. Uh, well, we're here. We're weightless, as you can see, pretty much weightless. Um, I can't get traction anywhere around here. Those raindrops are falling. Oh, he got it! He got it! He's incredible! Here, hold on, hold on. I'm drifting away. Oh, no! Now come back up! He's doing it! He's doing it! I'm back, I'm back. Anyway, end of transmission. Whoa! We have nothing else to say about the 70s, so. Are falling on my head, they keep falling, but there's one thing. 